All right, so what we're going to do is construct the in center of a triangle today. Uh, remember that the definition of an in center of a triangle is the point of concurrency of the angle bisectors for the triangle. So what we need to do is construct the angle bisector of each angle. Each angle of the triangle. All right. So to do that, we're going to take our compass and center it on a vertex of the triangle and construct the angle bisector for that angle. So again, draw an arc that goes through both sides of that angle. We center on one of those intersection points and then draw an arc inside of that angle. Repeat, but with the other intersection point. And there's, and then connect the intersection point here with the vertex. So let me grab a straight edge here. Connect it. All right. So there's our angle bisector. As always, uh, you might want to clean up your picture so you don't have any arcs that confuse you. Go on to your next angle. Again, draw an arc above. I'm sorry, uh, that intersects both sides of that angle. Center your compass on one of those intersection points and draw an arc inside that angle. Repeat, don't change that opening of that compass. And your second arc should cross your third arc. So, again, take your straight edge out and connect those points. Vertex to the intersection point of arcs two and three. Clean up your picture and then proceed on to the third angle. Repeat the process. Again, that first arc is going to go through both sides. Center compass on one of the intersection points, draw an arc that goes inside of that angle. Repeat the process with the second intersection point. Again, don't change that opening of that compass. Keep it the same. And then take your straight edge out and connect those two points. So here, this intersection point is the in center. So let me mark that. center. So that's how we find the in center of a triangle.